Um, now, this curve we've looked at a few times. We looked at it in lab one. This is our landfill gas production over time. So a lot of production in the beginning, then this first order decay um, decreases it very quickly and then stretches out over a long period of time. So one of the reasons that horizontal is good is because we're better able to take advantage of this initial spike, um, whereas vertical, we have to wait a little bit later and miss out on that. Um, but this also, you know, whichever system we choose, we have to deal with the implications of this first order decay curve, which says that when the system is first built, there's going to be uh, a lot of gas. And then as it ages, there's going to be less and less gas over time. So the landfill gas collection system has to be operated to account for this change in the gas over time. And this is done through what's called well field balancing which is a process of adjusting the flow and vacuum in our individual wells to match the uh, instantaneous gas production from that area of the landfill. So some wells will be in older areas of the landfill, some wells will be in newer areas, and they'll all need to be adjusted to fit the gas production where they are and then changed over time as that specific area of waste gets older. Um, as you're balancing, what you'd be doing was going would be going to each well. Um, if you see really high methane, like um, you know 60% and no oxygen, then you know that you're getting 100% landfill gas. You're not pulling in any air from the surface. So you might try opening the valve and getting a little bit more flow in. If you were to measure your gas concentration in your well and you saw some nitrogen, that would mean you're actually getting some air coming down into the landfill, which you don't want. So you want to close that off um, until you got rid of almost all that nitrogen. So the sweet spot is where you're getting as much gas in as possible, but not getting any atmosphere in. So when you just have like a little, little tiny bit of atmosphere coming in, that's kind of when you know you're right on the edge of optimal. Here is what it would look like while you're doing your balancing. Um, so here's our well head here on the top of our well. This one's got a PVC casing. And the well head, the valve is up at the top here, but it also has all these different ports that are used for balancing. So the bottom port, if you measure the pressure there, that's indicative of the actual pressure inside the well that's being exerted throughout the, um, the depth of the well casing. Um, and that spreads out through the waste to pull the landfill gas in. On top of this is, uh, can be in some well heads, an orifice plate, which if you think back to like, I don't know, second year hydraulics or whatever, um, an orifice can be used as a not like a, a device with no moving parts to measure the flow of a fluid by looking at the pressure drop through the orifice plate. So that's what's going on in this picture here. The flow is forced through here, it speeds up, and then to equalize the energy balance, it changes the pressure and you can measure that. So you might have a second port um, on the other side of this orifice plate, and then by measuring between those two, you can measure uh, or you can calculate the velocity and then the flow rate. So you can actually measure both the pressure and the flow rate uh, with no moving parts with this kind of arrangement. Uh, we also have a place for temperature to be measured. So um, we want to actually be able to normalize that uh, flow rate we calculated to standard so that we can compare it with other wells. And then at the very top, we have a port that measures the pressure on the um, the blower side of the valve. So this is before the pressure would be decreased by being forced through the constriction of the valve. And that tells us how much pressure is available at this location. So if the valve was open 100%, then this pressure would be very similar to the pressure um, a little bit down the wellhead. But as that valve's closed more and more, then the pressure between them comes different. So as a, a landfill gas technician doing this balancing, you'd be coming to your well, you'd measure all these pressures, uh, calculate the flow rate, and then look at based on the gas quality you measured, does it look like this well needs to be pulling more gas or less gas, and then adjusting that valve to make that change. Um, this figure shows a vertical system, uh, what kind of the sphere of influence of each well looks like um, when you have too little 
versus too much vacuum. And this is the same figure that I showed before. Um, so I've drawn these red circles to show kind of the sphere of influence around each well. In this one, uh, we can see our sphere of influence in the dotted line is quite small. And when you look at it from above, these circles aren't touching each other. So all these areas in between the circles, um, that gas is not necessarily being pulled into the collection system. It'd be more likely to try and make its way out of the surface or throw some other pathway instead of the system. So this is too little vacuum or too little flow to uh, really uh, effectively remove gas from this massive waste. Um, down below, I've expanded it. So you can see my sphere of influence is actually broken through the surface, which we know is not good. We don't want to be pulling out too much air from the top. And then in the figure down below, um, I've got some major overlapping between my spheres. So these, these guys are going to be fighting uh, each other for the gas. The sweet spot would be kind of in between where the circles are kind of just kissing each other. Um, and then the sphere of influence is uh, just kissing the surface but not pulling in um, any atmosphere or a very, very small amount of atmosphere. And that means we're maximizing our collection while preventing the risk of getting atmosphere into our system. We can also look at this from a little bit of a different angle for our horizontal system. So where our flow is too little, again, we have all these areas that we're not getting coverage over. And then where our flow is too much, we're going to be pulling in from the surface and inefficiently fighting over the gas inside. And then our sweet spot, again, um, our circles would be just kissing each other. And then looking at the outside, we want to be um, not pulling in uh, very much or any air from the atmosphere versus the landfill. And again, these are ovals instead of circles because we have kind of an anisotropic propagation of the vacuum throughout the waste just because of the way it's compacted. It's easier to pull in uh, air from the side than it is from above or below. So we get a little bit of a different shape. But uh, so when you plan your spacing, um, you take that into account, whether it's here or here. <laughs> 